What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Daffy Duck. Now with most of my sketches, I always like to begin by locating the skull of our character. So along the top left side of the page, let's sketch out a circle. I'm gonna start from the very top. I'm just gonna loosely bring that circle down towards the bottom and around the right side. Now this doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanna get the right location and size. Let's add a single guideline coming down the center of our circle. So we'll start at the very top. I'm just gonna pull this all the way down. Now this is gonna act as the spine of our character. Let's add another line going across from left to right in the center of our circle. Now from here, we're gonna block out the shape of the beak. Let's start on the right side of our circle. I'm just gonna scoot this down, go across. Now let's just bend that back up towards the right, to right about there. Let's go to the bottom of our circle, move over toward the left, draw the bottom edge of the beak, come down a little bit lower, and then just pull that back up. Now during this stage, we don't wanna to get too detailed, we just wanna define the proportions and shape. Now on the edge of the beak, we just wanna curl this back around. Curl this around, and then bend that back in towards the side. Let's connect the right side of the beak to the left side with a curve coming down and out. Now let's bump out the cheeks from the bottom of our circle, coming around, and just pull that in towards the left. Let's go up to the top right, curve this around, and then bend that in. Let's add an oval in the center, starting from the top, come down towards the beak, then back up towards the top. Now we move over and draw a smaller oval for the right eye. Coming down toward that line and then back up. Let's blend the cheek in towards the side of that circle, coming in and then up. Now I'm just gonna extend the top of the head going up a little bit higher and narrower and then back down towards the right. We're also gonna round out the top of the right cheek. Now inside the left cheek, we're gonna add a fold, going up and then down. Let's move over, draw the bottom edge of the mouth. We're gonna come down towards the bottom and we'll just pull that up underneath the beak. Now right where the edge of the mouth meets the bottom of the cheek, we're gonna step out. It's gonna trace out the bottom and just tuck that up underneath. Now we're gonna go back to the left eye, right in the center along the bottom. Draw a small oval for the pupil. Now on the right side, we pull the pupil towards the left. Let's fold the brow on top of the left eye, starting from the top, then it's in and then down. And curl that up on the inside, in between the eyes. Now there's three hairs along the top of the head. So we're gonna start right in the middle, then it's up and then out. Go back to the bottom, add another one. Go back to the center, curve around the left side. Now I'm gonna curve the beak in between the eyes, going up and then down. Let's add the nostril along the bottom. So I'm just gonna add a small oval. Now I wanna go back down and add some shape to the neck. Let's start on the left side of that center line. I'm just gonna bend the neck, coming in and then down towards that line. Let's move over and draw that again. Now you want to slope the shoulders in an angle. So from left to right, I'm just gonna go up and out. On the left side, bend the body, coming around and then down. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add that collar around the neck. Start along the top of the curve. Step down and draw that again. From the top of the body on the left, I'm just gonna bend the arm, coming down and then out. Step down and draw that again. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean drawing, it's easier to assess the proportions of our character. Now I'll notice that the top of the head is a little bit too low. So we start back on the left side. I'm just gonna bend this up a little bit higher. 
and then just slope that down towards the right, towards the brow. I also want to fold the right brow around the eye and then back in. Let's add a fold across the top of the left eye. Now I'm going to move over and add some thickness to the front edge of the beak. I'm going to start from the top, come around, and just pull that in, just following that curve, coming in. Let's round out the right side and just tuck that in. And we'll just add a fold along the front. Let's add some more shape to the cheek. Come down and out. And then round this out. And then pull that in. And we'll redefine the top edge of the beak. Now I'm going to go in, fold the beak across the bottom of the eye, going up towards the cheek, and then bending that in. Now I'm just going to go out a little bit further, come down to the lower lip. Let's add a little bit more shape to that fold in the corner of the mouth. And then the inside of the mouth coming down up underneath, and we'll add the edge of the tongue. And now we're going to go in with the tip of our pencil and start refining the shape and adding some more details. Let's start by tracing out the pupil on the left, just darkening up the edge. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top right side. And we'll just darken up the inside of the pupil going around that highlight. Now we're going to fold the brow on top of the eye. And just curl this around the outside. Just pull that up in between. Now let's draw in the outside of the eye. center of the beak, I'm also adding a little bit of brow on top of the right eye, just folding that on top, And enhance that brow on the top and we'll layer in the cheek. Adding a little bit more shape to the nostril and just shading that in. Now we're just going to darken up the inside of the mouth, going around the tongue. And then we'll shade in the tongue with a slightly lighter tone. And I'm also using the side edge of my pencil. Now I'm going to go back and just blend those hairs on top of the head. So just tapering it down to get thicker along the bottom. 
and is connecting each of the pairs together. shape to the arms and shoulders. And now I'm going to go in and start adding a dark shade to the top of the head, starting along the hairs and then just working our way down. working our way around the beak. Now I don't want to go too dark because I want to leave some room so I can add some shadows and highlights. Now I'm going to move down and shade in the top of the neck going around that bend and then continue across the rest of the body. go in and start adding some shadows. So starting dark along the side of the eyes and just blending that out to almost create a little bit of a highlight along the outside edge of the head. Just going underneath the brow and then blending that up. I'm just going to darken up the right side of the body. And I want to fade this out along the top, around the shoulders, and on the left side of the body. There's a little bit of a highlight caught along the back. Darken up the bottom of the arm, and then blend that up. Let's go in and add a light shade to the beak. This is the inside edge of our pencil. Now underneath the beak fold, I'm just going to darken this up and then fade that out towards the right. Add a shadow along the bottom edge of the beak and fade that up. And just work our way across.
Now, as we get closer to the end of our drawing, I'll clean up my shadows and add a little bit more detail. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Daffy Duck. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.